In some substances, no electrons are free to move around as in the metal. All of the electrons stay with their atoms so that no current can flow. These substances are the insulators, glass, porcelain, rubber, and many others. The collisions that the electrons have with the atoms set the atoms into more violent vibration. This makes the metal hotter. If there are enough of these collisions, the metal will radiate heat and light. Heat and light from electrical sources, then, can be obtained as the result of resistance in some metals. The unit of resistance is the ohm. Its value is best understood when its relation to the other factors is explained. A pressure of one volt produces a current of one ampere through a resistance of one ohm. Whatever the source or the magnitude of electric energy, these factors always have the same relation to each other. So, in order to supply our great demands for electric power, we must have facilities for generating great currents at sufficient pressures to overcome the resistance of the lines, as well as to do the work. Power for industry, transportation, and light, as well as for many other conveniences we use in our